With today's Samsung Unpacked, we saw a host of new Samsung devices, including its Galaxy Note 20 series. Just like last year, we get two Note devices this year, namely the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. While the Note 20 sports a Super AMOLED Plus 60Hz Full HD Plus display at 6.7 inches, the Note 20 Ultra goes all out with a dynamic AMOLED 2X Quad HD Plus display at 6.9 inches with a variable refresh rate up to 120Hz. The latter also brings a 25% boost in brightness, alongside things like a faster 240Hz touch sampling rate and a curved design as opposed to the flatter look on the Note 20. Side by side, the Note 20 is more or less as big as the Note 20 Ultra now, which is also a big difference compared to last year. Both smartphones share the Exynos 990 octa-core processor in this region alongside 5G as well as Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, which is now standard. Being Note devices, enhancements to the S Pen and its features are also present, but more importantly, with the lower latency up to 80% lower on the Note 20 Ultra and up to 40% lower on the Note 20, the differences between this year's Note 20 series and last year's Note 10 Plus when using the S Pen is immediately noticeable. The smartphones also come with a range of performance increments, including an AI-based game booster and the world's slimmest vapor chamber to keep the Note 20 Ultra as cool as possible, but there are also a number of refinements when it comes to images. The Note 20 Ultra sports a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 108 megapixel wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with laser autofocus. Here, Samsung's toned it down a bit with zoom compared to the S20 Ultra of earlier this year, with the Note 20 Ultra now capable of 5x optical and 50x space zoom. On the other hand, the Note 20 goes for the same ultra wide and telephoto lenses with a 64 megapixel wide primary lens. Here, you get 3x optical and 30x digital zoom. There's also a range of video improvements found on the Note series with 8K video now seeing a 21 by 9 mode, options for pro video, and zoom speed control as well as the ability to record audio from specific microphones or via USB or Bluetooth microphones within pro video, which could come in handy for a professional use case scenario. We haven't had time to test the cameras, although those videos should be coming in the future, so do subscribe to the channel. Aside from the main changes, you also get your typical Samsung experience. You retain features like Link to Windows and Samsung DeX Wireless, which definitely boosts productivity for people on the go. There's also a new ultra wideband technology to share your data amongst devices and Samsung Knox for security. This year, we also see different colors for the Note series with the Note 20 offering gray and green variants and the Note 20 Ultra offering black and white ones. The bronze, of course, is a common color for both and quite frankly, looks amazing. Inside the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra pack a 4300 mAh and a 4500 mAh battery with super fast charging, which should be able to give you about 50% of juice in 30 minutes. If you want more details on pricing and availability in the UAE, make sure to check out the link on the card above. Let us know if you'd like to see any specific content with the Note 20 series down in the comments below, but that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Adios!